sexy beast just for you. I've got a nasty backspin that you should look out for. Yeah, that's exactly what he said. <laughs> Here's how they stack up in the tail of the tape. 11, 4 and 1. The experience goes the way of Big Hurt, Mario Rinaldi. Four years, the elder Rinaldi, also the taller, six foot even versus five nine. The weight obviously goes the way of Barnett. Once again, you've got to wonder what he is actually weighing in the cage here tonight. And you saw the reach from armpit to end of fist. The big herd is ready. And Barnett in the cage. Let's go up to Christopher Jane for our semi-main event. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our co-main event of the evening, and it's in the heavyweight division! Let's meet the fighters. Right now, this gentleman is a specialist in submission grappling. He stands six feet tall. He weighed in at 266 pounds. He brings into the cage a professional record of 11 wins, four losses, and one draw. He represents American top team fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida. Make some noise for Mario, the big hurt Ronaldo. And his opponent stands across the cage in the red corner. He's a practitioner of Taekwondo and wrestling. He stands in at five feet, nine inches tall. And he weighed in at 278.6 pounds. He brings with him to the cage a professional record of five wins and one defeat. He fights tonight for Team XFC. And he represents Tampa, Florida. Please show the love for Chris the Beast Boy. Your referee in charge, Chris Adams. Fighters to the center of the cage. All right, gentlemen. Remember rules we went over earlier. I expect a good, clean fight. Act like the true professionals that you are. Any questions? Any questions? Hook them up. Let's do it. We are ready for this heavyweight contest in our semi-main event of XFC 13. Unstoppable. And this one, folks, you better believe it could get a little crazy. Look at the big hurt Mario Rinaldi. He is ready to go. So too the beast boy Chris Barnett. We're ready to go here cage side. Michael Chavello, Guy Mezga. It is Barnett in the white. Big hurt Rinaldi in the camo. And they lock up early. Rinaldi presses. Beast boy against the cage in front of our commentary position. Transitions to a single. Yeah, this is a uh, basic wrestling. This is where Chris has got to be careful. He usually can turtle up pretty good because he's got such a tough, you know, tough kind of physique to, to get on their back. See how he kind of crawls out to the back? Look at the pressure here. Up on all fours. Can Mario flatten him out? He drills the right hand to the side of the head. Barnett's got to try and get out of there. Yeah, you know, like I said, he usually gets out of this pretty easy, but the thing is, he's going against a guy who's built a lot like him. Rinaldi Brown wants the rear naked. He wants the rear naked choke here, Mario Rinaldi. Yeah, he's got a good job. He's got that shoulder up there like that. He's got that half Nelson on there. Tremendous amount of pressure on the neck and head, holding the pinning straight down there. He's just going to use this to wear him out. Throw these punches. I'll tell you something, you know what Chris Barnett needs to do, and this is, you know, I'm no more joking about his weight and stuff. He really does. He needs to engage uh, a dietitian. Because he's way too big for his size. He's only five foot nine. He should not be 300 pounds. You know, it's not a healthy weight. And have a look at here. Mario Rinaldi just teeing off at him like a golf course. Barnett's got nowhere to go. He's flattened out momentarily now. Gets a couple of knees up. But Rinaldi just riding him like a bucking bronco. Big right hand again and a hammer fist strike to the side of the head. Barnett's doing his best to try and escape here. But Rinaldi just keeping him on his stomach. Keeping him on the canvas. Well, he's doing like this. Rinaldi's little... already landed 23 strikes in this round. All from the ground. Boom with the right hand again. Bang to the treadlocks, then one to the beard. And Rinaldi going, come on, ref. What more do I need to do? Well, Have a few strikes. He's... Referee warning him not to hit the back of the head. 
Rinaldi just having his way, molesting, abusing Chris Barnett. Barnett's got nowhere to go. Referee's all over it here. He's got the hooks in now, Mario Rinaldi. Barnett in trouble. Rinaldi just continues to hammer him and punish him. He looks to flatten him out again. Barnett desperately trying to escape. Rinaldi's so patient, so calm. Well, he's, you know, he's using basic wrestling, you know, and, uh, like he's getting his hooks in, he's getting that half Nelson type position, and he's just wearing him out. I mean, this is exhausting for Chris Barnett. Barnett has only landed one strike. Rinaldi has now landed 40 strikes. This is just abuse. Uh, Rinaldi's a little high, though. He needs to work his way back down or Chris will get out. He needs to work his way back down, get a little more closer hip to hip position with him. Barnett has never taken punishment like this. No. Rinaldi all over him here. Postures up again in the back. Barnett cannot escape. Now he turns it to him. Beast Boy on top. Beast Boy on top. <laughs> Has the pendulum swung. The Beast Boy rips it with the left hand. This would be amazing. Could he pound out Rinaldi? Chris Barnett's found his second win. And here comes the Beast Boy. Well, this is what he's been known for. He's known for having incredible cardio for a big man. 273 pounds of beastly meat raining down on top of you. Boom with the knee. You know, Minolte looks tired. Beast Boy is just pounding on him now. Who would have thunk it? Look at Barnett go. Look at Barnett swing. But Rinaldi's not done yet. Oh, my God. I'm taking my voice beyond the threshold of pain, but this is worth it. What a turnaround. Suddenly, Barnett's landed 34 strikes. What yeah, a look, turnaround. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you it is. I'll tell you something, man. You can't discount this kid, but I'll tell you something, Rinaldi, you know, he looks a little tired, but he's going to go back to what he knows, which is his wrestling. It is Larynx popping goodness here in the cage. <laughs> and Chris Barnett dropping that right hand to the side of the tour. has just been a crazy night. You know, XFC is such an underrated promotion. It doesn't get a lot of the mainstream attention. It should, because every fight tonight has been a yes. baller. Every fight tonight has been a winner. This has been one of the best fights of, best nights of MMA we have seen in a long, long time. And what an opening round. Guy, how do you call that round? Who do you give that round to? You gotta give that to Rinaldi. Yeah, I mean, he, he controlled the fight for the whole, the whole entire time. Landed, you know, the, the best punches. Barnett did a good uh, Barnett did a good job by trying to keep his head turned so he couldn't get hit, you know, in the back of the head kind of deal. But, uh, you know, then he gets turned here, you know, and he does a good job of spinning out, does a really good job of throwing stuff. But, uh, you know, short of kind of having a home down, uh, you know, look at, look at it, you got, you know, again, he's a hometown hero, so you always have to fight that. But... Yeah, yeah. Rinaldi he looks tired. You see him walking back there like that. He looks a little bit tired, you know. Uh, and this is where this is where you know uh, Barnett is uh, a famous for is taking these guys into deep water. Can you believe that only with a couple of minutes to go in that first round, Barnett had only landed one strike? And look at the final figure after the first round: 51 strikes out of 55 landed. Both men with huge landing ratios. Here we go in the second. Lumber forward, outside fly kick from Barnett. He's got a bit more spring in his stick now as the beast boy. Barnett jabs. He's in southpaw stance here. Fighting as a left hander. Nice kick. To the liver section. Rinaldi looks gassed here. Yeah, he does. Barnett, who never ever fails to surprise us the way he can suddenly turn it on on a dial. Well, I'll tell you something. He has uh, extraordinary conditioning, and, uh, and especially for a big guy, you know, and he, listen, he does not look like a conditioning, condition type athlete, but he is. He takes these guys to the deep water and, uh, you know, wins these fights this way. Nice 
Nice little shoulder thrust and a short left hook there from Barnett. He's already landed four times in this round. Rinaldi's thrown two strikes, hasn't landed. Big goose egg for him on the Compus Park statistics. Well, this is where Rinaldi should be throwing knees. I don't know why he's got good position to throw the knees. He's trying to get the body lock takedown. Oh, they were poised for it. Now they tend to go back in front of down commentary position. This is when he really... for a single here, Rinaldi, Ooh. but he scores. Oh, yeah. Does by. Here it comes, Barnett! Rinaldi in trouble! This one's going to be over. This one's going to be over. Look at Barnett going up. It's good night. I'll tell you what. Can he break dance now? Where's the backspin? He promised us a backspin. I'll tell you something, man. This was a... Uh, that was epic, guy. I'll tell you what, he definitely pulls it out, you know. And, and again, this is exactly, uh, you know, what the matchmaking Prisco put together. Prisco said, listen, if, if uh, Barnett can get it in the later rounds, then uh, he is uh, going to win. Look at Barnett. Wow. Just raining down the blows on a helpless Ronaldi referee all over it. Good night, Irene. Chris Barnett, after you would have written him off for all money in the first round, came out like a house of fire in the second and did the job yet again. You've got to wonder. There's the flip. There's a bit of the break dance. My word, that was just such a brutal, brutal second round there from Barnett. Here it comes. <laughs> you gotta love the stylings of the Beast Boy. Ronaldi gave it a red hot go in the first, but he could not finish Barnett off when he had the opportunity to do so. Hey, Christopher James, good. make Uncle it all Jim official, sir. Thank you. Cage, fighters to the center of the cage. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for these two big heavyweights doing the deal tonight. One hell of a fight. And now, your winner, at one minute and 44 seconds of round number two, winner by TKO due to strikes, Chris, the Beast Boy, Came in as the underdog at plus 110. Rinaldi the favorite at minus 200. Betonfighting.com. But the underdog triumphed yet again. Gomezga with the Beast Boy in the cage. Well, congratulations on your win, buddy. It was a good, uh, listen, this is your toughest fight ever. How's it feel to be the guy at this caliber? Real good, real good. Let's me know I'm elevating. And keep climbing, and keep climbing. Thanks to XFC Gym, you know, turning in there every day. My crew right here behind me. Um, just, you know, just constantly moving and moving and working. That's what we did this whole time. That's how it's going to keep rolling. Okay, I'll tell you what. Now, uh, take us to the fight here. Uh, where we got here? Oh, okay, right over there. Let's look over here. Let's take it through, take it through your fight right there. Well, since it's not showing up. All right, here we go. All right, there I remember it is. It's right there. All right, this is our uh, what, second round? Yeah, it's right there. Right at the finish, I knew I had to go ahead and put him away because I felt he was gassed. I was like, yo, you ain't trained as hard on your cardio for nothing. I'm at a point to where I can dive at the bottom of the sea right now and swim with the fishes and see the Titanic. So uh, I knew I had to let him work. Let him work, let him work, let him work. That's what I had to do. Excellent job, excellent job. I'll tell you what, what's in store for you next? What are you looking for now? Well, Mr. Briscoe, what's in store? We're looking for that belt. We're looking for that belt. Y'all want to see me with the belt? Do y'all want to see me with the belt? That's what we're looking for next, right there. Well, it sounds like uh, you got a general consensus with everybody here. Although, I'll tell you something. You promised me an awesome backspin on, on this, so uh, let's, uh, let's see what you got here. They want to see it. They want to see it? <laughs> Good work, sexy beast. <laughs> yeah! Congratulations, brother. Back at you, Michael. Thanks, Guy. 
And Chris Barnett shows us the nasty time at backspin. What a turnaround of epic proportions from Barnett.